What up, dogs? Welcome back to Gar Attacks. Click your heroes. Rawr. Okay. Oh, man. That was a lot of money. Holy shit. Okay. All right. I feel like now we have enough time for me to come in back here in the backlogs. Gar Attacks. Click your heroes. 198. Part 1. Holy shit, guys. It's coming up soon. 200th episode coming up. Okay, now let's upload this one as soon as possible. I wanted to get out to my people as soon as humanly possible. Okay, 15. Uh, put it up at noon p.m. Yes. Advanced settings. Yes. There it is. Ooh, publish. Publish, right? Yes, publish. Oh, no, no, no. I need to change the, I need to change the episode name, you stoop. Okay, episode... 198 part one there it is save changes all changes saved okay perfect it worked it did it i'm set i'm golden um wh wh where are we at where are we at right now alice alice give him levels okay all right that worked out that worked out nicely um no even more levels look at here um but yes, things and stuff. Oh, right, right, right. Episode 200 is coming up soon. Uh, after, like, a few more days of, like, part one, part two, and all that stuff. Um, and what episode... And rem but remember, episode 199 is basically just going to be a... Um, what's it called? It's basically just going to be a... just gonna be like a progression episode so we're gonna do that episode right before we start our episode 200 so I might so it might like right after this one it might just be fucking episode 200 time like so the next time I get up on this screen up on this uh, program up on this video game this video um, that might be the day that I have to spare 24 hours for to do the fucking episode 200. Uh, uh, two week long extrava bonanza game. So that'd be cool. Um, I need to I need to figure out a day in which I can do this and you know like uh, plan it accordingly. <coughs> oh shit! Hold on. Mm. Ah yes, much better. Oh shit, no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. I want OG. God damn it. Why did, why did I, why do I do these things? Why do I do these things, y'all? I am such a stoop. Alright, here we go, OG. OG Gen level. OG Gen levels. Gen levels for OG. And OG leveling up. Oh, look at all these levels for OG. There it is. Okay, we're gonna wait for the, uh, for our first ability, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun right there. <laughs> oh, you know what's interesting um, that I didn't even think about until right now. Uh, I just want to see like if I want to see the format in which the uh, the website, the uh, the one that uh, calculates the efficiency for um, excuse me, the efficiency for. Uh, uh, for spending your hero souls onto agents and for the relics. It also has a tab for heroes, which one we should uh, have gilded. Of course, right now it says OG, uh, because, you know, that's the one we <coughs> presumably should have gilded. But I have not seen its interaction with when you have guilds on other people. Because <coughs> uh, if, you, if you do have that interaction right there, does it tell you straight up? Like, oh, you should probably... You should probably switch them. I wonder if it, there is like a. I wonder if there is like a uh, uh, area or like a visual representation on the website of doing this. I'm not going to test it right now. Obviously, I don't want to switch off any of my guilds from OG unless uh, absolutely necessary. But uh, but maybe right before our episode 200, I'll maybe test it out. See what's uh, what's the dealio on that one right there. <clears throat> Otherwise, yeah, OG got all of our guilds. 
Remember the days when I was like, oh yeah, we can keep guilds on like a few people here, a few people there, you yeah, know, it's fine. No. <laughs> now we just got them on one person. That's really funny. I want to see, like, I don't know if you guys um, are using this in your own games, and I don't know where you are in the progression of your own games, but if you are at the point where you're, you don't even have, like, uh, Frosty yet, uh, you're just basically at, like, Grant, uh, or may maybe you don't even have Dreadnought yet, but you just barely have Frostly. Uh, I want to see what the what the website says about where you should have your guilds. Does it say it should all be on one uh, dude, or does it say like you can have like 50 here and 50 there? You know, it's I want to I want to know about the strangers. Like, no, no, no. I want to I want to know what that interaction looks like. It se it seems like it might be. It, it might be weird, though. I remember back, yeah, I remember back in those days where we had our guilds on like five different, five or six different people. And before I realized that was unoptimal, that that was uh, more optimal, uh, we had it on literally everyone. I <laughs> remember that. I was like, oh yeah, it's cool. Look at look at what this person looks like gilded. Oh, that's pretty fun, you know. And I realized, oh shit, this actually matters. For damage, so let's switch them all off. But uh, but you know, I, I'm pretty sure I figured it out uh, beforehand. It's just um, it's just I you know the is another weird thing. Uh, beforehand, 80 hero souls was way too much for me to switch guilds. I was like, no, I need that for ancients, man. 80 hero souls, a whole 80 hero souls. That's crazy talk. That's way too much money, right there. That's way too much to spend on just uh, just switching guilds. And now it's like it's nothing. I s I'll switch all 250 guilds to Lilin once that time comes uh, in one go, and it won't even affect us. But remember how back then it was like, oh shit, 80 hero souls to switch it to a person you want? No, we're just gonna switch it at random for two hero souls a piece, if anything. And I'm even a little wary about that. So I was like, and I, I guess that was the reason why we had it on like uh, on like five or six different uh, heroes at that point. Because I was like, okay, so these are the five or six I wanted on. Uh, because if I was to just do randomly on one person, that would cost way too much. And at that point, it might be worth 80 hero souls to just uh, do it. Um, I mean, we could, we could do it now to save like... 40 or 50 hero souls here or there. If I was just to, every time I get a guild, uh, do a random placement for two hero souls and like just hope it gets on OG. But uh, but once again, it's like it's so fucking negligible. It's like at this point, we're not even thinking about it. We're just like, yeah, 80 hero souls. I'll, I'll spend it. There might be someone out there who's so fucking anal about it who who's got a channel and does this sort of thing and it's super optimized uh, that's not me, my friends I'm not going to be that extremely optimized motherfucker I will be as optimized as I deem it fit but at a certain point I'm just like no I will you know level up another 2000 levels for all of my heroes combined to get one more hero soul on ascension but I won't do that but I won't do that other thing that's that's just going crazy, huh? Sorry, give me a sec. Mm. All right, <clears throat> delicious, delicious. Um, wait, what's going on? Oh yeah, we're leveling up at OG. That's what's going on. We're talking about the video game at this point. It's crazy, right? Usually second episode is not about video game at all because we're just mindlessly leveling up OG. We're, we're talking about different things like race and religion and fucking uh, 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 race as well and religion too. Like, it's mostly race and like religion. Uh, and drugs. Oh, don't forget drugs. Drugs is a good one. Um, talk about drugs all the time. Oh, that's right. Last episode I was talking about uh, watching the abortion episode of uh, Family Guy with um, with my girlfriend because uh, she she's a, she was like oh, I saw a little bit of it. Uh, 
she said, like, uh, oh, this is, some of it was pretty funny, but I can see why they had to take it off television. I was like, whoa, now I have to watch it. So I think we're going to watch it tonight together, which is great. I haven't seen her in, a, like, a, a week, basically, even more than that, actually, because I've been super sick. I'm, you know, shh, you guys, shh, but I'm going to go surprise her at the workplace and bring, like, some flowers. Uh, maybe some chocolates too, because after a certain point, you know, flowers become a little stale. I can't be getting her flowers every other week and, you know, still call it like a special thing, you know. This is my, uh, my suggestion to y'all. Everyone, like, all, like, I'm pretty sure you've heard women say, like, oh, we just want to get flowers whenever, Liam, beca because, you know, because you're just thinking about it. It doesn't have to be a special occasion. Well, I, I do that with my girlfriend. And at, at a certain point, she was like, okay, I mean, you don't have to give me flowers every time you come see me. It's, you know, it makes it <laughs> less of a special thing. So I was like, oh, yeah, okay. I, that makes a ton of sense, too. So it's it's the opposite side of the spectrum right there. It's where um, some girls just never get flowers unless it's a special occasion. And I just give my girl flowers every time I see her. She's just like, okay, I mean... Now, now that you do this, though, the flowers aren't that special of a thing, so it's just sort of like a peace offering when when we see each other. So, so maybe not do it every single time we see each other. So, like, okay, yeah, that that makes total sense. I I can totally get get on that level. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, flowers. Flowers is is a great gift all the time though. The most important information you'll figure out from a girlfriend is uh, well, there's a few. One, it's her birthday. Uh, two, it's your guys's anniversary, the, the day you guys either met or the day you guys went on your first date. It's it depends. It depends on like if you just like met at work or something. And you're like working together for like a year or so, or even like a few months before you started like going out and seeing each other it depends on like when that magic day is for your relationship basically what when did the magics begin is what i'm trying to ask and uh that is your anniversary date um choose that as your anniversary date you, you rarely ever get to choose a date for a special occasion this is one of those occasions um for example, if you can avoid it, try not to have your anniversary on 9-11. It's historically a pretty bad day to have special events. Uh, um, but, um, <clears throat> but, uh, but yes, so, yeah, so the anniversary, blah, 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 Djibouti, 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 um, flowers. Good thing for those occasions. Uh, oh, no, 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 sorry. I'm stupid. Uh... I forget what I'm talking about, like, halfway through every conversation, but, uh, but yes, good information's to know, uh, girl's birthday, uh, <coughs> uh, y'all's anniversary, uh, you know, wh whenever that is for you, and, um, and also, what type of flower she likes, because all of that information is extremely important to her. I, um, what's it called? So I'm I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you in on a little story right here. Uh, my girlfriend's birthday passed uh, like a few months ago, and um, excuse me. And um, what's it called? I ordered her something from Etsy, you know, cause uh, yeah, cause I know like all the you know social media, not social media, like pop culture stuff she likes, like DC stuff. She's into like Harley Quinn and blah, blah, Wonder Woman, blah blah blah, all that good stuff. So I bought her like a specially like handcrafted thing from Etsy. The thing is, um, it uh, it was late in uh, being delivered, uh, so I didn't get it to her on her birthday. So I I had the misfortune of uh, of seeing what it would be like to be like, eh, well, you know, it's important, so maybe I just like surprise her like a few days after her birthday. That was a huge mistake. At least get her flowers on her birthday. Like, if you if you can't get the super special thing in time, it's the stupidest thing ever to just wait and get her nothing on her birthday um, until like the thing that special shows up. At least just go out, grab some flowers, write a handmade card, you know, 
fucking fucking take her out or something dude uh, bring her breakfast in bed wash the dishes I don't, like I don't know do something special for the day itself until the super special thing comes it's um I made that mistake uh, a few months ago and uh you know just uh just uh you know I've learned from it since so I'm passing on that knowledge that information you yeah i'm learning new things every single day still i'm i'm 24 going on 25 and um <clears throat> you just you, like i don't know if y'all are in school or in college or anything but uh you you continue learning things after formal learning and you learn like important things like about life is what it is and um you don't learn new shit like fucking this new thing that they're teaching schools called Common Core Math, which I fucking despise, by the way. <laughs> but, um... <clears throat> so you don't learn new academic shit, but you learn new shit about, like, the, that that would have helped you if they had taught you it in school, but, uh... But also you sort of have to experience for yourself to get the full effect of it. But, uh, anyways, so... <coughs> Excuse me. Um... So, uh... I'm just waiting on this next level. There it is. That, that wasn't so bad, was it? So like, subscribe, comment if you're enjoying the series thus far. I know I am. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.